Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to migrate an old Java 6 JD, JDK 1.6 application to Jakarta 9. And uh, I wrote the application eight years ago on stage uh, JDD conference and this application is uh, a little bit more m interesting for migrations because uh, it uh, it comprises uh, servlets, uh, JSF, uh, CDI events, uh, transactional CD CDI events, EJBs, uh, asynchronous uh, handling. So it is a little bit more complex as so it, it goes beyond Hello World. And if you like uh, to see what I did uh, eight years ago, there's the talk is still on YouTube. And uh, the name of the talk is uh, Java, e, Java E, Future is Now, but it's not evenly distributed yet. So this is uh, the talk. And um, as a server, I would like to use the reference implementation or Glassfish 6 is an open source server which already supports uh, Jakarta E9 as a release, release candidate 3. And uh, this server is not meant to be used in production. If you would like to use uh, a production ready server, there is a um, f more stable counterpart called Payara server and you can even get uh, commercial support for Payara server and Payara server is uh, built on Glassfish but um, it is like a uh, commercial branch or it's also open source it comes with fixes for Glassfish like patched Glassfish okay so now let's do this so this is the source code and uh, what I just did I removed superfluous uh, uh, plugins and um, already upgraded from JDK 1.6 to 1.8 by changing the version number. But uh, what I used back then was uh, J Java EE Web API uh, 6. And the reason for the Web API was this is what uh, NetBeans IDE generated back then. And the application is uh, simple, but it comprises different parts. So there is an asynchronous uh, servlet uh, which uses the async context, which uh, fires uh, event. CDI event. Um, it was prior to microprofile, so back then it produces a string, and the uh, the idea was uh, that the string is, is depend uh, depends on the field and on the environment, and environment is basically the stages. Then uh, there is like a spe spe specialization of the configurator called DB configurator. The environment was production test int and so forth. And um, environment provider, it just decides which states in which stage we are currently in. Nowadays, we would use uh, microprofile config, config for that. And then obviously the session was in the morning, so there is good morning Krakow. And what happens here, this is stateless EJB, which uh, injects the complex configuration, which was produced by the string. And we have a thread starter. A thread starter is an EJB with asynchronous processing, which uh, fires an event with the name done. And uh, index is uh, a GSF page, a simple one, and job, job listener just listens to CDI events. And uh, what it does here is um, there's on success on after failure, and uh, the thread starter, as you can see, it throws a runtime exception. And the uh, what I did back then is on runtime exception, the transaction was rolled back. And uh, what means is uh, this listener was invoked. And if I will remove the runtime exception, uh, the transaction is going to be successful. So this listener method is going to be invoked. Okay. This is about the functionality, and of course, uh, which is uh, less interesting, is the JSF uh, part. But uh, let's do this. So let's um, try to migrate the application to Jakarta EE9. And what I would like to do is to install Glassfish first. And what I created a script, and what the script does is it just unzips the downloaded Glassfish v6. And then uh, I will have to run it on Java 8, I think, still. Payara understands JDK 11 and, and later, but this is the open source ver version has to run on J8. And by the way, I could also use Whitefly. It also comes with Jakarta E9 support, but I just decided to use the uh, reference implementation or the Jakarta E open source implementation of Jakarta E9. Okay, now uh, we have it. So now I only have to start the Whitefly, uh, sorry, not Whitefly, uh, start Glassfish. This is what I wanted to start. And um, let's see. And it started. So this is already um, successful. And now um, let's take a look on that. So what I will have to do is to use the uh, Jakarta, uh, Jakarta EE, Jakarta.platform. 
that's what I have to use. Uh, and then the artifact ID, of course, is a different one. Um, it has to be uh, Jakarta e API, and the version is release candidate. It's not done yet, but this one. So, okay, looks good. Now let's see what happens. Now I would like to recompile the code. And uh, so just clean everything and install. And what you might see, I get lots of errors. So what's the problem? The problem is that uh, in, Jak in Jakarta E9, there is no Java X. Uh, everything starts with Jakarta. So for migration, what I will have to use, I use my specialized tool, specialist tool called uh, replace, replacing files. And I'm searching for Java X. I'm replacing uh, with Jakarta. So let's do that. And um, so yeah, I'm searching for Jakar Java. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, I would like to replace all. So now everything is replaced. As you can see, Jakart Java X was replaced with uh, Java X. This is actually the migration. And let's see whether it compiles. Maven clean install. And it should compile. Yes, and then I would launch the what. And what does, it deploys the application to all available servers. And one of them is the Glassfish v6. I think it is uh, something something with uh, the, where is it? Uh, auto deploy, I think this one. Okay, now the application is uh, deployed to Glassfish v3. And let's take a look here. So what I would like to do is to use first 8080. So we should see the uh, Glassfish and yes, there it is. And with Universe, uh, I get EGB hello from database. What I expect is a stack trace in the console as well with, mi with mi minus minus done. So let's see. So this is the stack trace and uh, this is just for fun stack trace. What we see here is minus minus received done. And this comes with, uh, from the job listener, this is that. And um, this is um, this event was received because after failure. So this looks good. So it seems to work. And what we also had was on the, um, the uh, Comet servlet. It should be also available with the URL pattern Comet servlet. So let's try to test that. Or not try, let's test that. And uh, yeah, it also works. So this was the real-time migration of an eight-old, eight years old uh, project uh, written in with JDK 1.6 and uh, Java 6 to the the most recent, the um, the newest Jakarta E server which supports Jakarta E9. And what we also did, we migrated the namespaces. So the uh, migration is not complete. What we also will have to do is. We will have to change the schema locations for bins XML and web XML, but this is not that critical anymore. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, AirHex Live um, or projects. So thank you and bye.